Topo's location in the central North Island means it's perfectly positioned for New Zealand's outdoor enthusiasts, particularly golfers looking for a weekend away. And one course that's been a must play for Kiwi golf fans for many years is Wairake Golf and Sanctuary. Its origins go back to the 1970s and this lush parklands course's reputation has grown every year since. The club hasn't rested on its laurels. No longer just a course, Wairake is now a sanctuary thanks to a large fence protecting the bird life. It kicks out all the predators, weasels, stoats, feral cats, hedgehogs, possums, and so now we have a, an area that is, is right for our native birds and exotic birds, the pheasants and quail and stuff like that. And we're now a kiwi creche as well, so they get the kiwi eggs in the wild, they hatch them in Rotorua, and then they bring the chicks when they're about a week old and release them onto the property. And then when they become adult birds, Dot come and recatch them and return them to where the eggs came from. And there are other developments golfers will notice when teeing it up at this topo favourite. When we moved the car park to outside of the fence, we levelled off the old car park. So now the practice tee is right by the putting green, we've got a chipping green with a bunker and we put in five large target greens out there to, to play to. So when you come here, included in the green fee is the use of the practice facilities. Wairake Golf and Sanctuary is recognised as a top 100 course by Golf Digest, with a growing fan base right around the world. A lot of them will come and say they've played hundreds of courses around the world and this is the nicest one they've played anywhere and I think Part of that is a mix of just you know, the beautiful surroundings and it's challenging without being so difficult that you feel you've been beaten up. It's a fair test and that's what golfers want. And proving just how playable Waitake can be is operations manager David Park. Uh, luckily I've had a nice drive into the middle of the fairway. There are a few things to avoid though. We've got water obviously here in front of the green, a little bridge going across on the side and there's a deep bunker left and right which are to be avoided. They'll be tricky. So really the things here, put it onto the green. Quite happy with that one. Always nice to leave yourself a nice short birdie putt, especially the way I've been putting lately. Wairake remains the jewel in Topo's golfing crown, continually attracting golf lovers to the area. We've been complimented by the likes of Kinlock opening up and also Cat Kidnappers, which is just a couple of hours down the road. So really for the golfer wanting to come to a region to play golf and experience you know, the rest of what Taupo has to offer, it's a perfect place to come for holiday. If Wairake Golf and Sanctuary seems like a golf club at one with nature, then neighbouring Wairake Resort taps into Topo's geothermal surroundings. Yeah, Wairake Resort Taupo is a unique destination in itself. It's uh, based on its geothermal aspect and, uh, and golfers have the luxury of uh, being located only 500 metres from the Wairake International uh, Golf Course. The resort has numerous uh, facilities that allow golfers to relax and unwind after a day's golf, um, from spas, geothermally heated outdoor swimming pools, all uh, make up an excellent relaxing stay for our guests. Soaking away the aches and pains of your round in steam-heated outdoor pools is one way to recover during a golfing stay in Topo. But for a complete change of pace, moments away in the Wairake Tourist Park, there's something for the adrenaline junkies. A jet boat ride gives you an 80 km per hour look at the world famous Hooker Falls. At the moment the falls are at about 70% flow. At 100% there's around 300,000 litres of water coming over every second. So it's enough water to fill an Olympic swimming pool every 5 seconds. metres deep. If you get too close to the falls it'll start pulling towards it. It's quite difficult to breathe in there so we won't be doing that. 